Peace, brothers and sisters. This is Dr. Siddiqui Chebae once again. Uh, in giving honor to our Creator and giving honor to our ancestors, the ones who were blessed by the Creator with the blueprint of life to give us some meaning, some direction, and some purpose. Everything is about purpose. Today, uh, once again, I'd like to thank you for blessing me with the opportunity to enter into your home to share with you what the Creator has blessed me with, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Creator has blessed me with in honor of our ancestors. Today's topic is going to be about control. Control. So, what is control? Control is the power to influence the thinking of yourself or the direction of yourself, the direction of someone else, and even the direction of an, an event. You can influence those things. That's what control is, is having that power. Now, specifically, we want to talk about mind control. Mind control. What is mind control? Mind control is programming or altering, or it can be even brainwashing. That's mind control. But when you look at us as a people, the original man, the blessed man, the chosen man, we have been brainwashed. And what do I mean by that? We have been programmed and our minds have been altered by these thugs, these um, vicious people, these barbarians, these animalistic people that came from the mountains and came down from the mountains, these undeveloped uh, men, which are called mankind, they are kind of a man. They came down from the mountains and saw that we were like gods. And they did not like that. So they devised a strategy on how to take us over. Because one thing about us, we are the most trusting and most dedicated and committed people and the most loving people on the face of the earth. And they took advantage of that. So we must understand the truth about our reality. We have been brainwashed. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? You should see the image and the likeness of God. But we were taught and brainwashed to hate what we see. So we must understand. See, understanding takes the sting out of the reality. Above all thy getting, get understanding. We have to understand what has happened to us, the cause and effect. Look at our effect. But we must understand the cause. So we can be picking and choosing which ones of these snakes are good snakes. A snake is a snake. But unfortunately, some of us have a tendency to try to tell a snake, stop being a snake. <laughs> Be a good snake. You know, but we must understand the nature of a snake. And do not tempt the snake. We need to learn how to mind our business. But we must have a business to mind. And the only way that you will know that is to know who you are. That is our number one problem as a people. We don't know who we are. Because we're so busy being concerned about everybody when we need to be concerned about each other. So let's talk a little bit about mind control. 
to ca to have control is to have the, the the power to run things in an orderly manner an orderly manner not confusion not try let me try this let me try that but actually knowing exactly what to do based on the process. So we're talking about your mind. Because man is mind, a thinker. But all males are not men. We're just too emotional. We feel too much. The wise man goes by what he knows, not what he feels, because your feelings can deceive you. So let's get into what this mind control thing is all about. First of all, let me share with you that there's three basic types of control. The first control is the outcome. I mean, the output control. Then you have behavior control. Then you have clan control. So the output control is <clears throat> the techniques that analyzes your output. So we have to develop techniques to analyze our output. Behavior control is how the person does the work. How you do the work. And the clan uh, control is deals with cultural values, your beliefs, your shared norms. These are the three basic types of control. Family, we must understand the processes of how to get from A to B and not, you know, just, you know, let me try this, let me try that. Trying is generic. We must know. Now, I just shared with you the three basic types of control. I will also share with you there's three levels of control. But first, we must know that control is the most important function of an organization. And that deals with goal, uh, which is goal-oriented. We must have some goals. We must have some direction. We must stop freestyling. We freestyle too much. Let me uh, try this. Let me try that. Uh, let me uh, this and that. No, we must stop doing that. We must have a clear direction. We're just freestyling too much. Freestyling is um, based on basically your emotions and your feelings. And that what has always got us in trouble, our emotions and our feelings. Why do we continue to rely on that when that's really a sign of insanity? That's almost like bumping your head against the wall, blaming the wall. No, get your head out of the way. In other words, like our ancestor says, get your ass out the way. Because everything come out of your ass stink. So get your ass out of the way and start thinking. Thinking. But you have to first know who you are. You have to know that. When you look in the mirror, most of us don't like what we see. And if I don't like what I see when I look in the mirror, anybody who looks like me, I don't have to tell you I don't like you. I'm going to show you. And that's what we do. We have been programmed. We have been brainwashed into doing those things. We must understand the brainwashing. 
The things we do is not really us. They have altered our minds. They have programmed our minds to be something that we are not. It is what it is. Some people are afraid to tell the truth. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. You know, I don't want to rock the boat. No, you're right. Let's turn that boat over. And, 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 and get our minds in order, in divine order. Like it was originally. We are the original people. We are the original soul man. We are the original thinkers. God blessed us with the, with the ability to be the caretakers of everything that was created. And we, we must qualify ourselves. Many are called, but few are chosen. The harvest is plentiful, but the labels are few. You have to qualify yourself, and you can't fool God. You can't fool our ancestors. You can't fool energy. We got to man up. We got to woman up. We got to mind up. We got to own up. We're going through some serious times right now. And this is no game that we're playing. The enemy has stepped his nonsense up. And so we can't go the same speed anymore. We have to step it up or you will be steamrolled over and have a tendency to blame each other. Now, control is one of the most important functions of any organization, which is goal-oriented. Goal-oriented. We must have some goals some clear-cut goals that is based on our nature of who we are and who we need to become. We have to reprogram ourselves to be the, 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 the original people, the original thinkers that we were. So all of that comes through relationships. We need each other more than ever before. That's the very thing we take for granted, relationship. Most people, I don't need nobody. Well, did you get here by yourself? What do you mean you don't need anybody? We are group-oriented people by nature. We are gregarious people by nature. But we always wait until something happens, then we start needing each other. That's what you call using people. Why not build a relationship when you're able? When things are so-called all right. That's the time to get down and create your foundation. So that when something happens, you you always have somebody who got your back. We have to be intentional about that family. This is no joke what's going on today. We got this new president coming in on the scene, and we got this new vice president coming on the scene. Yeah, she have black skin, but check her track record. Check his track record, and you will find out that both of them are the same. Black men haters. Check it out for yourself. I'm not going to go any further than this. I'm giving you raw food for thought so uh, prayerfully it'll motivate, inspire, and encourage you to study yourself and check it out for yourself. So you can't say, oh, Siddiqui is a hate or Siddiqui is this. No. Check it out for yourself. Show your self-approval. And lean not to your own misunderstanding. So we must study. So, control determines what is accomplished. It determines what is being accomplished. 
and that is evaluating your performance and making the necessary adjustments when it's called for. You know, that's what you call learning. You know, learning can be hurting, it can be uncomfortable, and it can be painful. But guess what? Once you get through it, you can't beat the blessings. So we have to stick to it long enough so that we can get through the storm and get to the calm. Learning is no joke, especially when you messed up. But guess what? When learning is a requirement from the system, we have no problem satisfying it. We'll go crazy to get those answers, to fulfill those requirements. But when it comes to ourselves, we have a serious problem. That's what you call self-hate. That's what you call the brainwashing has taken us over. They have altered our minds. They have programmed us. We've been bamboozled. We have to understand that all of us have been touched by that. But they're just different degrees and different levels of it. Because some of us are about healing and most are not. They're so busy loving everybody. How can you love everybody when you don't even love yourself? There's no way that you can love everybody. And it's not even necessary to love everybody. How about respect? No one talks about, I, I don't hear a lot of people talking about respect. We talk about love so much that the love has no foundation, which is respect. That's why Tina Turner made that song, what does love have to do with it when you don't respect me? We have to start showing respect, and then you can build love on the foundation of respect. That's why our parents taught us to respect everybody. Don't pick and choose. Represent respect. And, and, the, and the greater the respect is, the more you can build on it. We got to understand process, family. We have to. Now, let me share with you, like I said before, there's three, I don't know if I said it before, but I'm saying it now. There is three basic types of control. I gave you that, which is the outcome, the behavior, and the clan control. Now, I want to share with you the three levels of control. The first level is strategic. The second level is operational. The third level is tactical. Strategical deals with your aims and your interests. Operational deals with those things that are ready to be used to get busy. The third one is uh, tactical. Tactical is uh, your actions carefully planned. Everything is carefully planned. These are the three levels of control. Three basic levels, the types of control, and three levels of control. Three is a spiritual number. It's a complete number. And you have the eye of the creator in the middle because everything should be built around our creator. The one who's responsible for us and everything else to exist. The one who gave us the ability to be caretakers of everything that he created. We must take our rightful position back. And so we must seek the processes that it's going to take to get back to that. We're too freestyling it. We got to seek processes. 
Because if you satisfy the process, you are automatically a winner. In order to win, you have to first be a winner. Understand that. Understand that. And I'm proud to say that. <laughs> I'm proud to say that. And also, the need for control is determined by what is necessary. What is necessary and what adjustments is needed. Most people deal with what they want. How about what's necessary? Regular people deal with right and wrong. Real people deal with what's true and what's necessary. I had people ask me, well, Dr. Siddiqui, what's, what's the problem with uh, dealing with right and wrong? Hey, you can be right in your wrongness. You can be right in your ignorance. You can be right in your confusion. But when you're dealing with what's true, the truth is the light. And the truth will set you free. And that's what's necessary. Put your feelings in your pocket and let's get busy. Doing what is necessary to be the example to honor and represent our ancestors. The ones who gave us an opportunity to represent them and to take it to another level. When you're standing on their shoulders, you can see further down the road. So you don't have to, you know, figure things out like they did. We honor them by standing on their shoulders and seeing further down the road so that we can see things better before we get there. Now, the most important control is self-control. Self-control. We must be able to control self. But first, you have to know who you are in order to know what to control, <clears throat> what to control, and how to control it. Self-control. Mind control. Self-control, you have to be disciplined. You must have balance or willing to gain that or be on the road to strive for that because you can't fool energy. Everything is about self-control, which is mind control. I know that some of us um, have experienced control freaks. <laughs> control freaks. What is a control freak? What are the characteristics and the actions of a control freak? First and foremost, we must understand that a control freak is very, very insecure. They feel a need to control others, manipulate others, blame others for everything. They want to try to keep you from being around positive people to uh, give you some awareness of their reality. See, that's another sign of what? Um, programming, altering, brainwashing. Also, they don't want you, again, be around positive people. They always create drama. Remember we used to say drama queens and drama kings? Oh, yeah, that's a control freak. Also, they can be very intimidating. Negatively. Negative intimidation. They can be very moody. They can be very jealous 
and they can be very abusive. That's a control freak. Those are what you call bullies. One thing about us as a people, we never use the term bully until we integrated. And then we found out who the real bullies always were, and still is. They still are bullies, and that's their nature, bully nature. But we must do all we can to come up out of that. We must learn how to mind our business and leave their no business alone. I'm just being real, brothers, brothers and sisters, family. I'm I'm rep I'm honoring and representing those before us. A lot of people don't like the truth. Man, turn turn that light out, man. Hey, hey, it's hurting my eyes. So they want to go back to sleep. But we cannot allow that to happen if you are being real. Real people stay in the light to the point where their light becomes a laser. Who no, they don't like that. They will try all they can to destroy you. That's why the messenger is hated in his own town. His own so-called family and friends hate you because you know some things that they don't know. You're aware of some things they're not aware of. You have experienced things they haven't experienced. You've been blessed with the things that they haven't been blessed with. And the more familiar they are with you, the more they hate you. Those are the ones that we have to be careful of, careful with because we care and we got our hearts there for them. Be careful with traveling through life, this journey that we call life. Always know that control of self is necessary to create balance. Because most people are stumbling all over the place. And they want you to stumble with them so they can blame you. Stay out of their way. Mind your business. Some people we pick and choose. No, don't pick and choose. Go straight across the board with it. Doesn't matter who it is. It's what it is. But who it is can make what it is worse, especially if you care. So be careful, family. Guard your heart, first and foremost, and use your mind. Remember that the only way that you can control yourself in your mind is to get a grip. Once you get a grip, you can maneuver it and you can take it where you want it to go. So get a grip. Remember we used to say, man, get a grip. <laughs> that is a powerful statement. In order to control something, you must first get a grip. You have to have a level of a grip where you can maneuver it and take it where you want it to go instead of allowing it to take you where it wants to go. Again, we must man up. We must woman up. We must mine up. And we must own up. I was just, you know, thinking this week and a little while ago also that, see, when you have room in your minds, the ancestors will speak through you and speak to you and be there for you. And this statement, it, it just stayed in my mind and it, it has blessed me with this awareness, this, these words of... Uh, these powerful words of, of inspiration, of wisdom. And I want to share it with you, and I believe that I 
said it to you before, but we must focus and be intentional about internalizing the necessary things. And it's this, that the bottom line to our thinking and our awareness is, is that each individual, each individual has the responsibility and the obligation to seek a process that will cause you to become the best friend with your mind. Woo! The first relationship is with yourself. Your mind. Because when you look in the mirror, there it is. You get two for one. You see the image and likeness of God. And you will understand that God is there. You see a child of God. <laughs> so again, let me say this, that each individual has an obligation and responsibility to seek a process that will cause you to become the best friend with your mind because everything is mine. If everything is mine, then mine is everything. So to know who you are, you will know who God is. They spooked us up with this in these religious buildings. These are uh, uh, manipulators, these pimps, these are uh, um, really uh, control freaks. How many people are growing when they keep telling the same stories over and over and over and over and over and over again, each and every time during certain times of the year, every year? How can you grow when you're stuck in the first grade? And you're just going along with it and they tell us, don't change the word of God. That has nothing to do with it. That has nothing to do with changing the word of God. You need to learn the word of God. You need to embrace the word of God. You need to put God's word into action. How can you respect me when there is no action to prove that? How can you love me when there's no evidence of your love? I said it, didn't I? You know, that's the attitude people say. I said it, didn't I? Well, you don't have to prove it. And the proof is in the pudding. And we're not talking about no jello pudding. We're talking about action. Action is all that matters. Family, I love you. I bless you. And I want you to prosper. Focus on mind control of yourself because everything starts with self and everything ends with self. Stay strong and keep your faith where it belongs. Life is about the survival of the fittest. The more fit you are, the better chance you have to be here with balance. Do your best and let God do the rest. You got to know when to hold and know when to fold. How do you know when to hold and know when to fold? You have to have a sharp discerning spirit to know the difference so you won't be using emotions. Keep your head towards the universe where all strength comes from and never give up and never, ever, ever, ever give in. No matter how things seem, seem as emotions, no matter how things seem, because everything is, always was, and always will be in divine order. God don't make no mistakes, but we do. But when you learn from your mistakes, it's all good. So keep on growing and keep on learning. You can't go wrong. Family, keep your lights on and keep them bright at all times. I appreciate you. Get your balance back and be blessed. Hold tap.